What's up everyone? It is Loki Monster here and I am back and today I'm going to show you how to get this awesome corpse eater pet in the quickest amount of time possible. Now I won't lie to you, this is not super hard to craft but it will be a long grind. Now first you're going to go and talk to Bamboozle. Now under the artifacts of the catacombs, you'll now find in Bamboozle's bag here, the Corpse Eater Pet. Now this costs 3,000 decaying morsels and he is very cool. And as you saw, he's a lot bigger than he actually appears to be here. Now, in order to get this pet, we have to go to the Red Monastery. So to do that, we're gonna click on Adventures and then we're gonna go down to World Areas and just click on Nalgas Saga and the Red Monastery. Now I am on the green server because I want an area where there's not a lot of people around. If you have multiple people doing this, it's gonna take a lot longer. So we're going into the Crypts of Misery and we're gonna book it down here, book it down. <laughs> And it's a long way down, but this is the fastest I dare speed up my video or my program will bug out. And I don't know about you, but I've had enough bugs this week. So actually when you come down here, you want to kind of weave around these guys so you're not getting hit. So you have your full health when you get down there. Now I am using Ranger and I am also using the Warrior Slam Cross Gill. Loki fun in the hole. Okay, now that I'm down here in the cave, we're going to be killing the bugs. And the bug we really want is the corpse eater, but in order to get the corpse eater, you're going to have to get it to spawn, and those spawns are random, so you're going to have to kill all of them. Now, the reason this area is the best is it is the highest concentration. Now, a lot of people just kill them in this just one spot and then wait for them to respawn. Well, you're wasting a lot of time if you do do that as they do take about a minute and a half until they respawn so once you've cleared this area we're just going to check our drops and as you see we have gotten a few of the decaying morsels now sometimes you will get none but you do get a lot of health potions while you're doing this as well so once you've gotten that area cleared you're going to do the area that was behind you when you drop down now in this little area, we've got the Skull Spider. Now you don't want to upset the Skull Spider, so don't run in too far. Now if you don't have the Ranger class unlocked, you could try using Warrior or even Berserker for down here. Um, if you find you're getting overwhelmed a bit, maybe try using the Mugglemancer cross skill instead so you're freezing them so they don't attack you. So once I've gotten that area clear, I'm heading back here. As you can see, they're still not respawned, so I'm going to zip down to this set of rocks here. Now you can go either the right side or the left side and kill these ones here. Now expect to get swarmed because the ones on the opposite side of the direction you go will come and attack you. So at this point you may find yourself dying a lot. Well guess what? Dying doesn't matter because you start right back where I was at the very beginning and it's only three seconds to respawn. It's actually quicker than me running all the way back. But I didn't die this time, so I'm going to zip back right after picking these up to where I started. And by then, these guys will have respawned and I can kill them. So basically, you're just going to repeat this about 800 times. It really depends on how good your RNG is, how many times you're going to have to do it, but it did take me over 6 hours of grinding solid in order to do this. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye. And if you like my videos, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.